Hello, hello, hello. Yes, I think we're going. I think we are up. I'm just going to put all the devices on flight mode and do not disturb mode. And then we will be ready to go. Sorry, I'm a bit late today. Busy, busy, busy day. No dings, no, everything's perfect. All the tech is down. Um, what are we going to be doing today? Not oh, this area. Pretty much. Just gonna wait a couple of seconds to fill everything in, just make sure everything seems to be working, which it seems to be does. If it's not, let me know. And we will head in in just a second. Everything seems good, everything seems up. Wonderful! Right, I'm gonna remove my very beautiful face from the screen two seconds bye bye Does that work just waiting for the feedback and it did cool all right so sounds on visuals on everything is good Hello and welcome back to the County of Portsydale. My name is Badger the British and on this episode we are going to be spending the next couple of hours just filling in this whole area. Well, say whole, we're going to try and get as much done as possible and then just going to do this live and show you how I go through my process. Don't know, should we turn the music, is the music on? I've just realised I've got no headphones so I can't even hear it. Ah, oh, damn. Two seconds. We, I'm just going to leave you to have a view of that for two seconds. At the Forest Foundation, we care about three things. Tree things, nature things, and the third thing, bird things. The homes of native birds are being destroyed at an alarming rate. That's why our goal is to give a birdhouse to every bird on Earth. Humans stopped living in trees ages ago. It's time we invited birds indoors with the rest of us. Do your part and text Dirty Birdie to 3030 to donate a bird bath to 30 birdies. You can either be part of the problem or you can be with us. The Forest Foundation. Okay. Oh my lord, that that's that's loud. That is loud. You can go down. Should we just turn that off? We'll just turn that off, shall we? Okay, got my headphones in now. We're all good to go. Right, where did New Brighton go? Here we go. Take two. Hello and welcome back to the county of Portsydale. My name is Badger the British and on this episode we're going to be designing this live and just basically going through my thought process and everything like that. And you can chirp in as well if you feel so inclined because everyone is entitled to have a bit of a bants and a chat and yes so i haven't been getting back in the comments lately it's just been absolutely manic seeing lockdown babies and stuff and seeing people and so i will get i will be priority number one as soon as i hang up the stream i will get back to every single one of you so Right, let's have a look. So we've got our noisy area over here. So obviously we're not going to be building any high density or residential buildings in this area because that would be absolute madness. But what we are going to do is we are going to zone this as kind of our leisure party district within the town. Lots of party districts in this town. Or maybe even tourism. We've got, yes, we've got... Uh, party fun nights over here so why don't we go ahead and make this more tour no no it doesn't really work does it because that's going to be it wouldn't make sense to have that so close so we're going to go with a mini daytime fun town and not just going to do a blanket fill here. Though there would be just on the opposite sides of the ground. Just a few pubs and things. 
Probably not that big. Okay, so they can't get across. So that really would suck. So what we're going to do is going to pop in path. Nice. Nice. Even going to put a small ticket, kind of a ticket booth thing there. Now I want to kind of keep this stadium. Is it Chelsea? Yeah, it's Chelsea Stadium. I want to kind of keep this section fairly clean. How do you not have it? What's, what's going on? How's this not got electricity? Okay. Oh, because we had they demolished those buildings. Right. Okay. Cool. But this side of the street is absolutely fair game. I just want to put in a few big buildings there. And obviously, because it's high density, we can probably get away with putting one or two really big buildings in. Is there a massive need? There is a, there is a need for a residential. Why don't we whack it on three speeds so that can fill up. Do I or don't I want to touch this area? I kind of want to bring in a mini district for here so I get a different choice of buildings. So if you just hold on one second and the reason why is I want those um oh what what do you call them? What do you call those the eco friendly? But the surrounding area can be like normal. Oh, promise you I have not been drinking. Okay. And obviously, hopefully, if when we bring those more people in, they will fill up the university. So what do we want here? We wanted eco-friendly businesses on this part so we get those lovely little like shops and things that just have a bit more of a like street festival vibe going on I just gotta build a whopping great big shopping center isn't it Yeah, straight away that can go. What monstrosities are you going to build now, game? How are you going to spite me, game? Okay, let's see who can stay. One of you two can stay. Perfect. That is something that I would really like there. That also really ties in well there. Okay, you're perfect. You're perfect. You're definitely perfect. That's what we wanted. I wish you could like choose. Obviously, you're going to jump up and say, yeah, mods would do a great job of this. But, like once you made it a historical building, that's absolutely fine. It's fine and dandy to go for the rest of its life. I can't put any down here. That's really weird. But OK, how are we doing? Got a bit more life.
obviously we do want to give this kind of area a festival vibe so how we can do that is go into parks I go to amusements and they should in their prop section have this awesome flooring just thinking is that going to look good yep very tediously go through and place these down I can always change these in post, don't worry. Like that one. There we go. That way we can bring a bit more life to the festival by just bringing the festival area a little bit more outwards and then if we flick over to the city props find as we can put some benches down that people will come and sit on and most importantly get some beer tents going because that's what everyone that's what I'm really missing at the moment a festival and beer tents and paying way too much for a beer how is the sound is it all good is it really bad And there we go, we've got a row of beer tents, some amusements. See, it's just giving that little bit of uniqueness to the place. Lay down a couple more of these. And then... Obviously, if you're going to go drinking, you are going to need some food. Get some dodgy, dodgy hot dogs and things. So there you go. Just kind of gives it that little bit of a, a thing. And then also we're going to lay down a path. We're going to do a bit less detailed stuff in a sec. I just wanted to really bring this area into life and just make it look give its own unique flavor uh, once again I have not rehearsed this episode like at all I'm gonna move that one a little bit further swoops in and then obviously people will be people what do you think a back alley road and that way the more freedom and the more more space you give them to pop around, come in and out. Just brings a bit more life into the area. Now what are we thinking? Do we think I'll get away with this? Hey man, how's it going? Do you think I'll get away with this? I don't think I'll get away with this. I never get away with this. <sighs> That's not half bad. That will be even better if I can get a couple of trees down. Yes.
That's insanely perfect. Maybe mix up the tree a little. So yeah, then obviously I'm going to do a bit more in post. Do you think there's enough room for a path down there? Can I get away with it twice? Yes, yes I can. Ridiculous, I'm getting really ridiculously good luck today on the old paths. Think we get one down the back? No, no, that's, that was just too cheeky. Too cheeky there. There we go. Let's bring a bit more life into this area and polish it off with some big buildings. I'm going to come back later and do all the trees because I feel like we could be here for hours just planting all these trees. But you kind of get the inner city park vibes going on. In fact, why don't we put some kind of park in? Just a tiny one. Can we do that? No. It's not a small enough park to do that. Okay, so we want to generally just start building in slowly these kind of areas just to get the vibe okay so that would be that design now we need to bring people in feeling like this should be like a green zone but what you got to remember is considering the noise because you don't want people that does not make any noise. I'm very finding that hard to believe that it's not making any noise. Or is it because it's not powered on? Mm. Okay, so we need to bring in people. Do the train lines make noise? I don't think the train lines. No, they don't. So this is perfect. So you wouldn't want to be zoning residential within this radius. So you might put a few offices and an office space in here just to weed out the sound barrier. Bring in the old tech companies. They're not tech companies. That's a, that's a whole new speciality and district in itself. It's going to carry on the straight line themed here. Parallel with the road. With the train line. I think parallel with the train line. And let's lay a wall or something. There we go. Did that just so it breaks up the block here and we can place our office at the side. Actually, we'll put a path down there, I think. Okay, and obviously we want these places to be beautified and we need to bring in 
let's bring in some tourist destinations because this is going to be our one of our main cities so let's get some of those down oh those are big big buildings big buildings no nope. how big is the central park okay way too big for the city that was ambitious <gasps> sparkly unicorn rainbow park yes want some of that let's have that kind of in the festival area so it kind of goes with the theme overall here is there any level five outdoor spaces nope okay This is going to look kind of ridiculous if we put that down. So let's try and aim for some high rise buildings around here. But what's the noise density on that? See, but you got to give them reasons to come to the city here. So I think that wouldn't look too bad here. I want to get have a city that has like a diverse range of height of buildings. And we're not just going to stack them all together. We are just going to just break up the heights of the buildings and the, the actual districts and what they are. So this is going to be our first, I mean, yeah, I was going to say, what do you mean you can't connect there? It's going to be our first residential zone. Definitely going to continue that under. I wonder, and this is also unrehearsed, I wonder if we can bring in a park, a, a bike path along here so it blocks the road and then these squares will become free for not one way, that's a two way bike path. So yeah, there you go. So you put a bike path down and then that will increase the amount of squares that you can get here. Just going to move that up. We're just going to make this bend with the road. There we go. Oh, they're using it already. Wonderful. So yes, let's lay our first housing projects down. I want to give them kind of space between them. Still high density, but just so they have space. And now we're going to use the fence trick along here. I think this way, can we, I wonder if we budge that over a little bit. No, I didn't, but 
wonderful news, it did allow us to make a nice space here. In fact, we're going to put that along there. That's the thing, it's just deciding where you want these high density buildings going in. And what I want actually is a path going down the back there. get that down the back oh I think we lost the square we lost the square delete it there we go perfect join it to the bike path can we not okay but the idea is just to make the city look lived in We're going to put a few desire lines down. Sorry, I said less detailed, aren't I? Less detailed. So we're just doing the big. Thing sort of. So yes, I could be for hours detailing, but here we go. So we've got our area, we just bring that in. Now, I'm going to make this a park area, I decided. Just a natural free-flowing park, so let's have a look. Which one's the best one? Kind of a park gate. Ah, the one that says park gate. Boom. Ah. Oh. Great thing about working with square shapes. So easy just to lay stuff. Yes, yeah, so we'll come back and we're going to make that a ward off kind of park area for people to enjoy. Okay, less detail, less detail. Let's go into big projects now. Big projects. So obviously we're going to bring this residential over. And I don't actually want anything touching that roundabout. So we're going to come off here. Where's that bus stop? And we're actually going to make this kind of a dead end. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. See, there's so many intricate choices that you can make, and I know in the end it doesn't totally matter, but it does does play in your mind how you design a district. So you can't go there because that's just too short. You can't go off there because that's too short, and you could go off there. And bring it through, but that's just going to look weird. 
So what we could do is bring it through like a through road. And you get these like two different styles going on. Do wish it was a bit more like you could pick or choose your squares that emerge. But if you just play about with it, let's see, because I don't mind going that way. Do the old fence trick. Okay, we'll come back and fix that. There's going to be a lot to fix in post. So, let's come along here with a few of these buildings. We do want to start putting in much larger buildings coming down. But also not, not stacked on top of each other. We want to kind of give them like their own little garden areas and things of that nature. See, so I'm guessing these guys... Oh no, they're all good. Yeah, all good on that front. Okay. See, because I would like to put something like that in there, just to mix up the landscape of this area. And then that... You could easily see how that merges into this section as well. It is really annoying. I do agree with one of the comments there. It is really annoying that you can't build buildings off paths. Especially in big cities like this. See, now how would I get to here? See, there's no point doing that because that just messes that bit up. then you can't get these big towers down. Because we're going with the with the assumption that this is uh, a new, not a new, but like this is like the, the old bit built up and lots and lots of time has been. So many, many houses have gone, been and gone, projects and things. Now nah, go on. It's always good just to take a step back and have a look. You know what, That this thing is really big, isn't it? I think it's way too big. Okay, we're going to have to delete this. We do need to bring in some attractions, though. I think when, when the skyline gets bigger, we'll bring the big, big stuff in. I think like yeah, the old old school clock tower overlooking the the train station would be good. That's too small to move in there. And we can make a thing of that. See, that's kind of the right height for now. But we do want to bring in businessy type things. So. Let's have a look and let's bring it in. Let's have a look and let's bring in this stuff. Hold on, here we go. See, I'm saving the archway here for the main festival area. So I'm just having a look. Something of shopping should obviously go in our area here. See, so obviously these things also bring like bonuses in as well for like future projects. It's just deciding where you're going to put these things. But this really should be 
over here. Just overlooking our, our wood facility, but we haven't got it that and we're not focusing on that for now, so don't get distracted. It's easy to get distracted. So I'm gonna be a bit controversial now. Bring in Yeah, so we're going for that big building that was here. Oh no. Hold on, we're going to come off that so we got a guide. And we're going to stay back just a little bit. I think we're just going to pause this and delete that for a second so we can get the 90 degree there and then come off at an angle. Perfect. Nothing was affected. Now we're going to delete that bit. We're going to bring this almost to the touch and not do that. Then we're going to bring two lines, one just behind the bus station. Nope, maybe not do that because it's disturbed it. Oh no, it's okay, it's fine. Apparently it's fine to have a small one there. Then we're gonna bring another one off at this angle. Like that. The tram stations are being really disturbed today. We're gonna back that up. And it's all just, you know, touch and go, play with it. See how you feel about this kind of style. I would say that's perfect now for population building. Are people using this? Does it have power yet? That's why I want to. Yes, it does have power, and the power is coming all the way through. Good, 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 good. And yeah, we just want to put some nice big buildings down now. I don't know what the maximum squareage is. Actually, we'll see what comes comes on that one. Okay, now what about the noise? Noise is always important. See, that's the boundary now. So this has to be filled up with something else. Let's put, try and put two of the same in if we can. And we're going to have, we're just going to keep that symmetrical. And put a path down the middle because that looks horrible currently. See, so we're going to give these guys a few little shops. Just seems weird there's nothing in this area, so we're gonna fill that up to I don't know about this. I feel like there should be a monument or something there. But we will circle back to that. How are we doing for we are not doing very well on services, are we? Police station seems to cover everything. It's a big one. I think it is a big one. It is a big one. So that's doing fine. Fire is not. Healthcare is not either. So we should put a hospital in somewhere on this side. And we've got to also think about where can we put the old people's home to get the most value for money. And that. So I think somewhere just off here. 
So I'm covered. So that's going to be our next thing. So let's just put that down for now. Let's have a look. Let's carry this road out. Nice and straight. Nice and straight and boring. So if that's the front, we want to give them a bit of a garden. So we're going to go hoop, pow. We're going to flip that onto this side. And then we're going to put a garden at the back in post. It's going to be a lot of stuff done in post. Or maybe just Monday night's decoration. That is what Monday night's going to be all about. So we've got the elder centre there. Now we need to put younger centre. And it's obviously beneficial to put these two kind of in the same place. So we're just going to have that. Yeah, because we're not going to have people living around here. So we could, in fact, make that like a two for one area, but I want that a little bit further up. And then what we can also do is bring in schools, because I think schools are really bad right now. Yeah. So we can do a little bit of cross section here. don't think they're, they're going to need the tram stations are really taking a battering today there you go so we've got a garden on this side as well garden on that side perfect perfect and let's put in on the opposite side just so there's some daycare about there's a tram sensor next to it which is wonderful and don't be afraid to have open spaces, like little open spaces like this. You can always put like a garden or something in it later on. And don't want to keep making too many straight lanes because I do like getting lost in cities and not being able to look completely down the road. So we're going to wind that in. Oh, no, we can't do that because of the, the tram station. Okay, okay. Right. So what we're going to do, we're going to make it come off. I like it tight to the park. And then... that kind of curve off like that gives it a bit like a, a trident in the road and there we go keep flicking between these lanes okay so we got this we got those old people sensors we got that there Having a little look, we're going to come out a bit. What, what about the noise areas? Is this... So these are fairly noisy. So we're going to put some businesses around here. They will cushion the noise on the road. And what we're going to do is we're going to back that up. We're going to go from this node slightly off center just to really annoy some folks there we go and in fact why 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 do that why why do a straight road oh let's have a look let's back our ideas up hold on we can make always make a feature of these by basically coming a little bit like it was designed 
to be there. So we've got the one here. Coming a little bit further out here. It's going to keep fighting with me, isn't it? That's an ugly road. That is an ugly road. Really ugly road. We can do this. Hold on. Where's the curve tool? There we go. Boom. I wonder if I just slam into it. Dike like. 95 degrees, like straight into it. Come on, come on. No, it's not gonna let me do it. Okay. So there we go. I'm gonna have to go off this node here. All we're gonna do is we're gonna bend this road even further around. Like that. And then we're gonna bring in the curve tool finish it off and boom and then that looks way better than it did before and i know i'm just using different streets just to really mix things up so you kind of want it looking like the city was designed at different points in time That would be like the true goal. Oh my gosh, there's lots of people. Hi everyone. How are you all doing? Okay, so does the senior centre make any noise? Nope. Nope, it doesn't. And obviously we've got to think about um death care as well. Which would be kind of morbid to put next to the old folks home here, so we're not going to do that. But this is going to make some noise, so what we're going to do is surround this area with small businesses. There we go. Now we're going to bring in some houses behind here. It's going to be a very open spaced city. I'm going to admit that. There'll be a lot of green. Okay, kind. I do want to make a feature out of this place. We're going to bring in something cool. I think the meteor statue wins it for me at the moment. Or the official park. Because that's the kind of stuff you would see outside a stadium. Just this random sculpture. And it'll be at an odd angle to the stadium as well. But obviously we'll come back and detail that all in. Okay, so we've got that. We've got people moving in. What else do we need? We need more jobs and things. Okay, what's going to be a really noisy point in town? 
here. This is going to be a good place for a business park. No, you want to... Okay, so let's... Let's go 90... Is that 90 degrees? No, it's not. Like, nothing is 90 degrees anymore. Everything is rogue. In fact, let's go rogue ourselves. Let's just have something slam down here. Actually, don't connect it up to anything. That's a big lesson. God, that's horrible. Why are we why are we obsessed with ninety degrees anyway? Hold on. Let's stop that then. Let's bring that under there. Bring that I don't wanna I don't wanna touch the truck that train station because that's a very harsh thing to do to make that even smaller. And in fact, what we're going to do is just going to back that up one. We're going to slam it in like that. There you go. Nice off center building. I'm just having a little think at the moment what we're going to bring in here and I think it's, it's definitely going to be offices. I just want to keep them away from this edge so we can slide something at the back if we need to. That would be ridiculous. Okay. Oh, well, this has definitely got to be broken up into a, something. It's got to be something's definitely got to come along here. Spin round. Also, it's not a bad idea to look from space and just have a look down upon your city and see how it's all going. Which I feel is good. Definitely had more people coming in now, so that's good. Actually, you know, if it's a business centre, what we want is those bicycle lanes. Because all the tech guys ride their little bikes everywhere. That does not look pretty at all. I want to change that back. Oh, we have that main street as a bike friendly lane. There we go. And we're going to bring in more offices. Big chunk of offices here. See, I'm going to choose to bring in more officers on this side. Oh, we did it. We have done it. I don't know how I'm going to get that on the thing, but we've done it. We've made it level five. Get in. Well done, everyone. We did it together. Level five university. Get in. And let's bring in. Yeah, a Japanese business park would do. I think that was look rather nice
Actually, let's flick back. I keep changing my mind, you see. This is why some videos take a long time for me to edit. Let's flip back. Let's change this to a bike path. I tell you what, if I'll make you a promise now, live on the stream. If we make it to a thousand, I will do a run about cyclists and just bad city design in the UK for cyclists. That just annoys the hell out of everyone. So what we're doing is just popping in a bike lane here just to get more traffic flow coming through. In fact, what we're going to do is just, can I just, ah, oh, yes. There you go. So what we're trying to do here is just block off this side. Now I know you guys don't have mods out there that help you do this on the consoles, but just lock off one side of it so therefore we're going to have this lush little space here and there's going to be offices all around oh no ah uh, no okay right fine we're going to have to do that again Okay, so if you use the move it mod, it won't cut it out. There you go, but now we've cut it out. Perfect, okay, right, hold on. Let's use this, and we want to cut there. Okay, no, okay. Take all the guides off for this. I'm gonna go rogue. And that one, that one. Ah, oh, why is it not? Okay, firstly, we're gonna come in this way, cut that one off. Just gotta play about with it, but it will be worth it because we're gonna get that four back. There we go. Perfect. Okay, right. Let's lock this down. Move this over. Move that over. Push that up. And we're done. Now we've got the bike lane. Beautiful bit here. And we can bring back the offices and have a big, chunky office section here. Actually, might need to bring a path through there. And that way you kind of build up the city without building up the city too much. And there's like designated areas like this that you would go probably have your part lunch and stuff. Is that going to be too close? We'll come back and have a look. Okay, so our noise buster site. So down here, we're going to want to kill off more of these blocks. So there you go. If you've learned anything from this, it's that. Fences are the best way to stop housing development. Actually, we're going to put a small corner shop on the corner here, so that'll be more realistic. I didn't even think about garbage. Is garbage okay? Yep. Cool. Is there more life? There is so much more life going on in the city now.
Okay, let's have a look at the noise noise checker. So another big noise is going to be over here, which we are going to do something a bit different over here. I'm going to use a path to kind of outline where the noise is going to be. Now we would kind of make a feature of our tube station here. Subway station if you if you if you if you must. So it's kind of a secret marking that do not zone in this area. But we can So it'd be great if you could do something off here. But it might even turn an area into a park. Let's have this bend round and onto here. And what are we missing? We are missing schools. So let's have. Do we have the nice school or the inner city school? I think the inner city school here. We are going to have that pull off on its own little road. Hold on. So what we're going to do is we're going to come that far out, we're going to go that far along, and this far along. Just to give it a bit more of a uniqueness to it. So there we go, we've got that there. And we're going to drop a... Let's drop something fancy. Something fancy, something good for health, something that really mixes up. A local sports hall and gymnasium, there we go. That will help the local centre as well. Also makes us look much more like a high school. Or a secondary school as we call them. Now, just a bit of butter duddling. One back, boom. Oh, perfect. That is absolutely perfect, wonderful in my eyes. Let's bring in, there's a bit more of demand for buildings and residential, so let's slam them in around here. Let's actually have a mix here. It's going to be of some shops as well. That way, not everyone's traveling far flung distances to get a pint of milk. Actually. See, I want to leave this section kind of alone. And then coming off the back here. It's not enough game players who do that and then a sharp turn 
So if these roads used to connect up, it's probably because it takes way too much space. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out a little bit further and then spin it around. <gasps> What's wrong with the water? Oh, sorry, yeah, we're having, it does this thing where it periodically gives me a drought for some strange reason, and that's going to flow down there. Okay, I feel like I also need to give them a reason to come down into this section. Also, no, I don't like that. I love it, you don't see this often. Ah, don't like that. But on this section, what would be good is if we carried on this road at curve, and then it's far enough away from the old people's home that it's not disturbing. If you Budge it up a little bit down this road. And there we go. We've got our, our church area. With a crematorium alongside. We just have that coming down here. Ah, oh, damn it. Just this little struggle I'm having here. And we're going to pop a crematorium. That would be sick if you get it in the middle. Nope, okay. Pop that alongside there. Just gives it a little bit more flavour when you change out the road a little bit. So, okay, I feel like we need to give them more of a reason to come over here. It's not going to be rubbish. Ah, monorail, yes. Someone said put a sexy monorail in. So let's just have a look at the connections that we can have. And that's ferry to bus stop. Okay, so you can't have ferry to monorail. That would have been epic. Strange, but epic. And obviously the new DLC that dropped, it's got no monorail in it. So let's see. Let's go back. So let's see if we can add a monorail station in here. Is there a monorail bus crossover? No, because we've got Metro, so we can't switch that out. So I'm trying to pre-plan. Is it not like oh, okay that's a bit strange so let's pre-plan this let's have a look so this is obviously going to be the ferry key down here so we want to bring people very fast point to point so i kind of want it off here no But what if we did... There's a bus to monorail, isn't there? Yes, there is. Uh, 
is just looking too packed now. That's the only thing. That's the only quiver I have with this. And also that noise is really big on that one. Oh. That is a very valid point that just came in. Two seconds. Two seconds on that front, hold on. No, everything's really square here, that's the thing. I don't I don't know how to get it in. It's very, very awkward. Could do that. Could just bring it in on one of these. Like, there's already a ton of buses. So, don't think like another bus stop would be appropriate for this area. But let's have a look. Hold on. No, it's way too close. Way too close. Okay, back that out. Back that idea up. And... Let's have a little bit of a wide berth for that. And then add one rail here. Oh, or sideways. Can we go sideways? And where's the monorail road? There's the monorail road. Perfect. And then that will go off. And along. Oh yeah, that's good. We can definitely make that fit in a bit more. That's funny. I I went to York and it's a really beautiful city. Like I love York. It's honestly it's just there's so many pubs. Pubs everywhere. It's a crazy amount of pubs. Can we make a medieval area? Is that, uh, hmm. I think you... Do you have to use mods for that? Or is that just... Or is it somewhere in here? Let's have a look. Let's, is there an old... We could have like a yieldy section. If there is... Them. So that's... Tax office is pretty old. But that's kind of... Um, Americano. It's the old street market here. It's also really wide. So we haven't accounted for that. Also, that's got a loud noise area. But it would be a very cool function. And it is needed. For that. So we could have that there. Just in. We also need to give them a reason to come over here. And like come around the city as well. And obviously the noise in this section. Well, it's got dead people in it. So they're not going to be affected by the noise at all. So we've got that in fact actually let's go ahead and place that as far and a bit there cool yeah there's a really good point about how bringing cities to life you need to bring the old and the new 
in. But I don't think there's any castles, is there? Or is there a castle? And I've just forgotten. That's a sea fortress, and we don't have any sea here. There's an academic library. Aviation clubs, I'm going to go down. Science centre. I think that's the wrong type of history. There's no castles in this. There's a no... That's also a sea fort statue thing. But any of these castles? No, none of them are castles. That's rather strange. Why is there no castles in this? Well, might have a bit more luck here. The Arch of Triumph. Arc to Yorkshire. Boat Museum, Locomotive Hall. It's really weird. I thought they would have had at least one castle. Because I know they got the default in the background castle areas and things. So why wouldn't that be including the game. There you go. Par there you go. For City Skylines 2, please put in a castle area and castle things. This is none. That's a really good point. There's no castle walls that you get in old-fashioned cities and things. I mean, maybe. If, if you let me know if there's a mod pack, then we could put that in. Yeah, because they've got, like, Japanese stuff as well, so... Like a medieval European pack, that would be cool. Let's see, what can go in our... Ye olde area, then? I think that is the next best thing, the locomotive... That's a TV station that should go in somewhere. We'll have to find it. Oh, and a music venue. Definitely have to give them reasons to come down to this section. I mean, there's that, but I'm saving that for the uh, festival area. No, it's all like easy stuff. Okay, so let's try and work in. Can oh, that be a perfect fit ish? Nope. Oh, sorry, I haven't got back to you, old rocker. I just had manic uh, days seeing like all the lockdown babies and of my friends, and work has been manic too. So I am getting to it. I will get to that first thing tonight before I go to bed. I will answer you back. But for now, I think that is the most metal like evil area we can do. Yeah, that's really funny. That's really weird. That's really blown my mind. I mean, it's that and that, but they really don't go together. And nor does that. So that is rather strange. So why don't we build this out a little bit? Give it a bit of protection from the outside world. Then also bring in... some kind of thing that would bring them there. Oh, 
I don't have one. I don't have one thing. What? What is this? Oh, it's reached population for 50,000. Okay, cool. Guessing if we put like a tropical gardens near it. Then maybe brought a dirt road in. Let me put another park. I'm just trying to think of ways to bring in life in this area. It's not a bad idea though with the road. Let's have this come in like that. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I will have to look out for that. I'll search for it tomorrow. Okay, what am I doing here? Right, I'm bringing in something to try and make this area look a bit more lived in. You know, like the maintenance guy's got to get in to feed the trees or something. I, I don't know what, what those guys do, but oh, it's actually just there. Okay, it's fussiest bit of park I've ever placed. Hold on. Right now, if I give you a little bit more leeway, no, you just want to say about, okay, you can go there for now. Okay. So we're giving them lots of reasons to come over here, use all the public transport to get over here as well, using this station, coming up and walking around, using everything. But let's have a look, what main things are the city going to need? What are the things that we usually don't even place? Like a community pool as well. I'm guessing that would be like... First off, let's give the tech wizards bike path. I'm, I'm thinking. Get one of those big roads with the bike path either side. No, that just looks horrible. Let's have the road change halfway through, because that's sometimes what happens. No, destroy the building. Back up. Nope. So that really cool to go like that. Yep, that's wonderful. And get that bike path and connect these two bits up.
There we go. So they can come off the station, get around here, they take the bike, and they come around the bike path here. Probably more likely going to take a bike path off here. But yeah, we'll, we'll think about that in another episode. So we've got that filled in, we've got this filled in. Everything's starting to look a bit more fuller. The skyline's really starting to build up now. So let's have a double check. Got health. How is this? How is this gym gymnasium providing health cover cover like that? That should not be right at all. How big is the yoga garden? Oh, that'd be really sweet to put in somewhere. Like I don't know if you've got a spare little section by what you want to be a kind of festively type area. Let's just pull that road off. Kind of want to go all the way. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. So that gives them somewhere to park just off the road if we need it. Okay, so we fill out this area. We're coming down now. We need to fill out these areas. So what's this? What's this area going to be about? He he. Also, there's a surprising lack of roundabouts in the city. So let's go ahead and put an unnecessary roundabout in. I love an unnecessary roundabout. And what I really like is where there's two of them together. It's the smallest one you can make. I think it's two, isn't it? Oh, this is risky. Free balling this. No, it's gone completely wrong. No. We just do road length and angle. Hold on. Like in the old school days, before all these wizardry tools. There we go. I think it's a bit too small to have two of them adjoining. But I do like those kind of figure eight ones we get over here. It's a roundabout and then immediately another roundabout. It's just so unnecessarily. Why do, why do we want that one way? We don't want that one way. Also, that needs to be reversed. Perfect. I have to make use of this roundabout somehow. There we go. No, that's just being unnecessary now. Ah, interesting. I will leave this section here off for castle ruins and things so i think that would be a very good juxtaposition going on here 
if I'm using that really big big word rightly between this modern entryway, this modern like transportation <laughs> tougher donuts. It's just the I like the the magic roundabouts with like the roundabout upon a roundabout that's full of roundabouts. If you know what I mean. Like the the one that he throw it's just like Careful, careful. Ah Where else where's the other one? Hertfordshire is a good one. They have a very good roundabout on, on roundabouts. I think it is possible to make a magic roundabout in this game. I'm not sure how you go about it. I'm kind of stalling because I don't know what to do here. Now this is very loud and proud, so this would be a very good place to have something very hilariously loud that would also help the city. How is a hospital not loud with all the ambulances and everything going going past it? Riddle me that one. That would be a very good building to have across here. If we could. Ah, oh, beautiful. There we go. We got our hospital care in for these people. Although I think fire care is really lacking. So that would also be a very good thing to have in this section. Just trying to think where's the best place to put it. Where's the most likely going to be a fire? It's probably going to be downtown, isn't it? There's going to be an explosion of... See, these guys are covered by that one, so... We could have this as the emergency services area, I guess. Because that's what they're trying to do to save money, is to put all the services together. <laughs> Almost like the American system, where the ambulances and the fire service are like in the same building. So like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch it because I don't know much about about it or why. The firehouses and the ambulances crews all together. And let's see if we can squish big old fire station on here. And yep. There we go, everything just went up in value. That is looking a bit too organised, if I do say so myself. So we are going to spin this around. Why won't you let me go in the middle? Okay, you're going to let me go in the middle. I'll tell you why, because I'm going to force you to. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. And now we need to try and make this not look so outstanding. Put in a few buildings, and obviously there's going to be a load of shops around here. It's also what it's missing. 
If we can get a park under here, that'd be wonderful. I think that'll look lush. Oop, not that one. Way too big. There we go, some lush park right underneath everything. And can we get them walking both ways around it by putting a little thing like that? I'll tidy that up in post, don't worry. Oh, actually, let's do it now. I can't, I can't have that. Please blend in, please blend in, come on. There we go. Creepy Lawrence. So this is now a memorial to times where people had to walk everywhere before we invented public transport. Let's pop another station in there. Let's put a few small ones along here. It's my watch telling me it's bedtime. And put three, a three, and a three. Just all matching little businesses along there. Oh, huh. I think I have seen it. I may have gone around it once, but not actually built it before. Let's take actually let's take advantage over this fact that this area is really noisy and no one's going to want to live here. Sorry, guys, you get one free business. Have an upgrade. Just. Pull some really big businesses into this section. Yep, if you're wondering, I'm still stalling for time on what to do with that little section. So I think what I'm going to do is come down here. Hold on. I messed things up there. One second. You've got to pause it because of them buses. There we go. And. Let's bring that in on that side. Well, there we are building too, but building too much, I think. I think there's a certain point where you may need to stop building upon building, give your city a bit of room to breathe. Because I will sit here all night and just develop this whole area. Is there like a, an option in the sat nav, like for Google Maps and things to avoid the roundabout? That would be a great feature to have. Okay, so why else can we make them come down here into the section? What else would be really good? How long have we been on? Coming up to two hours. Not bad for two hours. Filling that out. And no editing. 
amazing. Got a feeling that we've got to come back to this kind of area. Oh, we're back up to level five. Wonderful. That'll be my weekend project. So yeah, I might make Monday nights live stream night because, well, it's just nice. Gets it done. Gets it over. Gets my little to do list. A power gets it off and you know mondays there's not really much on on a monday don't know if you're like me and have completed netflix but city park area residential area around here well, i want to leave that kind of blank for that what is the tax situation like very glad to check that. 12 is the magic number. Everyone knows this. If you set it too high, higher than this, they're all going to complain. If you set it lower, they're, you're not getting the most bang for your buck. How close are we to the next milestone? 6,000 more people. And we get the extra square so we can move over here. That is what we should be aiming for, the 6,000 extra people now. Okay, so what can we put down to encourage them to come over more? Let's get all the entertainment out. So you put these down, the... The happiness in your city goes up. How does a TV station make noise? Seriously though, how does it make noise? Like, I donate blood right next to the BBC. And that, I can't see. It would be soundproof. They don't want sound going in or out. Surely, let's expand this noise area. So let's do the old trick. Boom, pop it down. Then we're going to work off a rough sketch of it. And then we can see the size of this thing. I don't actually imagine this road being used very much. So I don't mind having a little thing like that, just a tram. Or do I? No, I do. So in fact, now we're gonna I'm gonna find out about that castle ruins. I'm even gonna make a note before we get off the live stream. So I'm going to push that back, and the other side of that road is going to come up. If it's the one, uh, if it's the one I'm thinking of, I think it's the one in the credits of Nine Nine Nine. What's your emergency? I think it's because I think that's based in Bath. What well, used to be? Not sure about this series. So we're going to go there, we're going to put this, pride of place, because we've found a reason why to come here. In fact, we're going to do our old little trick as soon as we've got the room. Pop that back, pop that across. Great thing that we have £5 million to play with. That can go there nice and gently. Oh dear. That's going to be our version of the BBC building. And we'll pop it off like that. Wonderful. But the noise on that thing, hold on, noise. Oh, it's not bad. It's not. That's not bad. If you could have, definitely have some more apartments here. Think. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the tram station's getting mullered today, aren't they? Just No, no, not liking that. Sorry. <gasps> why, why? Okay. I'm done here. I am like a dog with a bone sometimes. You will let me have this game. go there we go order has been restored let's have a little kink at the end there we go perfect hey Callum thanks for the for the love and support Theatre district, that is a good point. It's starting to get a bit blocky, so. Theatre districts. Let's have a look. Theatre, theatre, theatre stuff. There's a nightclub. Okay, so we've got the major reasons to come to the transport hub for TV section and the historical section and this tree park that wants to be connected greedily. I'm trying to do my monologue. And yeah, so it's done, that's done. And yes, theatre and everything. We need them coming down here. This part. So West End Theatre District. It's a good point. It's a very good point. Let's have a look. Let's have a look in the what have we got in our arsenal. So we've got uh, a nightclub that's not you could see that. Leicester Square type thing. Shopping malls, that's a shopping mall as well. Uh -huh. There is a theatre, I know there's a theatre. There's an opera house. The Grand Library, Grand Library would be a good thing to put in the city as well. Although I'm kind of saving that for a university episode. That's the university episode as well. Oh, this actually does um, stuff. These actually do the. There's a traffic one, isn't there? This is dominating the skyline. It's the aquarium. That's the business center. All of these, you could do a video in your own right. And that's a theatre of wonders. Museum of Modern Art. Let's have a check. Again, like 
who's getting their health care from a sports center and that's a lot of people to get health care from the sports center before we put the hospital down that was just weird that's a fire we're good maybe not on this side of the city police we are still somehow good and reading and stuff probably not that good no, we're doing grand. We are doing grand. That's really weird. Okay. Okay, so theatres and some reasons come down here. In fact, we are making money hand over fist, and I'm getting sick and tired of this problem of the drought that comes. This, this drought has really annoyed me. So we've got two pumps there, two pumps there. Let's have two pumps at the base here. And that way, there's always a supply of water whenever needed. Just pop that there. Cool. Because it does affect happiness of your residents, so you really do have to look out for that. And also, why haven't we got the trams stopping in the centre of this roundabout? Don't know. We will have to investigate that as well. We've lost our university status as well. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh yes, bringing people down here. Okay, so it's going to be a bit noisy, isn't it, really, with these things. So let's not have a theatre on a dirt road, that would be really bad. Let's have it on a plush road. Let's have it just off. You know how they're always just off, like the promenade and things? So when you're walking by, you can see them. There we go. Now let's lay... We're going to have a rival football stadium at the other side. That would be quite funny. We football. I've lost it, I've lost it again. There's the opera house. Oh god, it's massive. Pow! Okay, we might need to adjust the angle. Or bring in something else. That does look like it deserves a park or something behind it. Let's have a quick spin. What's the other option for it? theatre type thing. So it's the nightclub, which is not a theatre. Opera here, or... I've lost her again, haven't I? Need to remember where, where these things are. Oh, there we go. That looks a bit more my speed.
I, 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 I'm not a football fan. I'm man enough to say that I'm not manly in that respect. I know the main difference between rugby and football is the violence is on the pitch for rugby, but not on, and the violence is off the pitch for football. No. Hold on. Sorry, it's late. It's been a long day. Training for the marathon and everything. So, yeah, so the main difference between football and rugby is the rugby, there's no violence on the pitch, but there's lots of violence off the pitch, where rugby is loads of violence on the pitch, but none off the pitch. If I got that right. I'm actually thinking we're going to save the Opera House for another day. Or just move it conveniently over here for me to remember on a future episode. And we're going to bring in this over here because I think this just fits the area a bit better. Oh, okay. Kind of boxed it in though, lads. So, this is going to be on the other side of the monorail. Or we could put it over here. <laughs> yep. Yep, I love the football. I can completely explain the offside rule. but I just choose not to. Okay, so those guys are quite close to each other, so let's have another stadium for the real fans. I really want a t-shirt that just says sports, and I can just wear it to all sporting events. Because then it's like, you know... Boom, done. You can go to an F1 party, a rugby party, everything. Ah, oh, it's just slightly too too big. But it would go the other way. So here we go. So, I'm guessing the big one would be Liverpool, and the smaller one would be Everton. I'm going to get beaten up by someone if I keep trying to talk about football. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. There we go. Got our friendly rivaling football stadiums together. I suppose it's easier to police though, right? If they're both like next to each other. Okay, that road's really annoying me now. Hold on. Oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Right. This could really help. This is like Twickenham Stadium and the and the stoop. Like this would be the stoop and that would be the Twickenham Stadium. Oh, no, I don't want that. I don't want that blocking the main road there. Okay. 
There we go. It's got its own vibe now. Make it look kind of nice. There we go. Why are they avoid why did the bus Very weird. Okay, so we've got two rivaling football stadiums in. Lads, lads, lads. We want it all hunched together like that. There we go. Let's have something weird like that. Weird but wonderful. But it's also made every made a mockery of every other road. Bash a curb on here. Why not? Just completely ruined that road. Your perfection will drive you mad. Especially in this game. In fact. Instead of messing with the big bit. I'm going to mess with a small bit. Because then it's easier. To fix if it all goes awry. Okay, there we go. Loving that. Loving that. Now we just got to connect this little bit up to something. What do we do? We, I don't think we have to. No. See you, Callum. Have a good one. I won't be too far behind because. Bed is a calling. Thank you very much for watching the stream. And I will hopefully see you on the next one. Okay, so we've got a theatre down there. It's a rather unique road set up. Which is rather cool. Oh dear, I've seen that sign before, what does it mean? Not enough goods to sell. Okay. That'll be a quick fix. So what's the noise on this area? Actually, it's not bad. Okay, the clock's worse. Somehow. I feel like there should just be a row of houses here, like really big houses. I 
think I'm going to make it to about two hours and then call it a night once I get there. I think the opera is going to be a south state, uh, south terminal thing for now. There we go. You guys enjoy that while it lasts. Not enough goods to sell. How is there not enough goods to sell? We need to make a dirty factory yard building stuff. But for now, that's really good. Let's just have a little look. Okay, we got 1,156 people traveling by buses. 280 people, that's our university area, traveling around that. And... No, is that Metro? That can't be the subway system, surely. Oh, no, it's the trams. Okay, good, good. 83 people. Uh, per week taking the trams, which is fairly understandable for now. Uh, 500 people taking the trains, which is good. No, sorry. 500 people taking the subway system, which is a bit low. But when we build that up, that'll be better. Trains are 800 people per week. 600 tourists. <gasps> we don't have a tourism area. Hmm. That's right, the nearest police station. Actually, the nearest police station is just across the road, I think. So, there. So, it's in pretty good positioning. And they got a nice festival field to go have it out on. No, no, good sell, no, no, good sell, no, no, good sell. That's because we've heavily invested in not the right thing. So we need to bring in more industry somewhere. Boom. Still, people want to live here. So, or we could flick something over. To the other side. I'm just wondering, we do need a tourist town area. South Terminal would be good for that. This is going to be a very loud and noisy area, and tourists do not mind loud and no noisy areas. So, also up here as well would be a good area. Fact. What if we... Okay, they're all doing it. Okay. I get your hint. Let's carpet bomb this area. And we made this. Tourists only. There you go, that gets rid of our not enough goods to sell. And also, let's just blanket this whole area, so, so everyone that grows up in this area gets all the benefits of the policies that we have in place. It's probably going to be the south terminal area. See, there we go. Cookie Cutter Hotels going in. Uh, 
That's going to be a very interesting area. Actually, no, leave that. Yep, well in that area. Okay, so if we cut down on the businesses, then the normal businesses, that will give more goods to other places. Or maybe not. Was well, there like a prohibition or something? Or do we have too much of a leisure district? So let's convert part of Happy Fun Town to tourism over here as well instead. That should start fixing our problems. Oh my god, the business is just drained. Business has drained. Okay, we need to bring way more people in. But I think I'm going to stop there for now. British theme retail park. Should put some mods on this and stuff like that. I was hoping to do mainly most of this in vanilla with a few few little mods essential mods that is set down for our skyline not too bad not too bad and we're just going to come out So yes, that was the big first expansion of this area. Also needs a name. The first one in there. But all the areas need a little bit of a naming. So if you see one, spot one, and you really want to name it, go for it. Uh, let's flick over to districts. See what we've got. The generic area. We've got a tourist town. We've got our football stadium ish area we got a festival area mini festival area the big festival area is on the other side we got the south terminal area here and we got our that should be fun town over here and yeah those kind of areas i think we'd be going for animal themed names so let's continue the pattern if we can so yeah, let's see what we've done as we go into summary mode so we have hooked up a monorail system coming in we've added more services so everything is bolstering and booming this whole area now looks much more used are there people waiting for a tram there's a couple people, at least. Yeah, there's a couple people waiting for trams. Okay, so that's a good sign. Unlike before, that place was completely deserted. And over here, we've got the buses roaring back and forth. Trains are coming in. And we've got so two new football stadiums coming in. We've got immense detail on our festival area, which is coming on incredibly well for something that I just pulled out the hat randomly and yeah lots to actually I don't, I don't know if i will do a post fixing things i think i'll just do like a decorative area of things and we got our two rival football clubs liverpool and everton and 
yeah, we got our office area over here as well, and then we themed out and we got our theatre districts and oh, lost the ability to zoom there for a second. Come on. See, if I was editing, I'll be able to edit that out, but because I'm live, I'm not that smooth anymore. And over here we have our West End Theatre District going on, and also our care facilities right slap bang centre of all the madness. Because all obviously these are really loud. These points over here they're really loud. So obviously we're going to try and get more people in this area, and that's a very good point that we do need to concentrate the people within these two districts. And then finally finishing off with our old section or experienced or aged very well section is the old marketplace here we're going to look up the old ruins and it's the old castle ruins and add a few along give it that kind of yorkshire kind of vibe and the juncture position between the old down here and the new with the 80s just not caring about either or and being kind of in between right there and then down here we've got a little park area that's going to go on and yeah that is it i'm going to call it a night because my voice is going and i can't really think anymore because i've been up since 6 a.m i did a four mile run for the london marathon uh because i'm in training for that and then i did a full day of work and then i came back here and went logged on live to entertain you guys and so we're just going to pan around and say that i've had a wonderful time doing this on the fly if you spot anything that you hated let me know if you spotted things that you really loved let me know and if there was anything in between let me know in those comments down below but until next time like subscribe and if you do like the sound of my own voice no sorry if you do like the sound of my voice and my playthrough style, please maybe hit that bell notification button and all that other stuff. I'm not the best salesman in the world, honestly. So here we go. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, Monday nights is going to be live on this because this is just much better. Like, it's much less pressure in a weird way. Because you don't know how I don't know how I have two and a half hours of editing to do to get this all done and also it is fun it's fun with the interaction coming off the live stream and i'm finding out so much about everton and liverpool's and yeah right i'm going to zoom out the whole portsydale and i'm going to say on the next one there's going to be the long form version of this train hub coming out on wednesday and on the next one we are going to be filling in this square with more city and also i've just seen from this angle you can really see this lack of trees in the city which will have to change because trees on a road lowers the temperature in a city by up to two degrees fun fact of the day and i will leave you on that one have a good day guys god bless love you all thank you very much for watching me and i'll see you on the next one